Introverts, what is something that people do to you that makes you irrationally angry? If you're ever at a party with me and you see me in a corner by myself, leave me alone. I'm okay. I have a social battery of about three hours and 21 minutes. And at that point, I no longer want to interact with people. I just want to be in the moment. My close friends know this. They know that they don't have to check on me. And that's fine. I pack a portable charger, a charging cord, snacks, my own drinks, sometimes a water bottle, just so I can be by myself in the atmosphere of a party, but not interacting with anyone. My face, when you approach me, is not going to look friendly. So just don't approach me. I'm just on observation mode. Because if we're being completely honest, a lot of people are really not that interesting. So to do the pleasantries of small talk, I really hate, I fucking hate small talk. God, I hate small talk. Um, to do the pleasantries, pleasantries of small talk over and over again, it takes a lot out of me. So if I approach you, I want to talk to you. If you approach me, I'm probably not going to want to talk to you. Introverts, what is something that people do to you that makes you irrationally angry? When I ask for the guest list of everyone who's going to be there, and it's inaccurate. When people assume being introvert means that you are shy and don't really like to socialize much and don't carry yourself well in social settings, one of the fundamental things about being an introvert versus an extrovert is just where you get your energy from. And for me, like I'm definitely someone who can carry myself in social settings. I can be the person that talks to everyone at a get together, but at the same time, I'm also the person that right after a party or a get together will have to just be alone in my room to recharge. Yet when I tell people I'm more introverted, whether it's in like per my personal life or at work, they're really surprised. Do you think that's because of the conflation between being an introvert and somehow being antisocial? Like you can be an introvert and love to socialize, but still need time to recharge and need that balance in your life. So I'm laying into bed right now and I'm not getting out, but something um, that makes me extremely angry is when someone tries to convince me to leave my happy place, which is my bed or my house. I like to keep my peace. So if someone tries to like say, oh, you never go out and your point. So what? I'm staying in my peace. You can go outside if you want to, but that don't mean I got to shit. I'm going to read my book, watch my shows and relax. Damn it. For me, it's when people say that you need to get out of your comfort zone because trust me, I want to to go out and do things like that but as soon as like I make plans and the plans roll around I'm like maybe I don't want to do this anymore and it's just hard because I'll go out and I'll have fun but by the end of the day though I'm so mentally and physically drained my social battery is and I know that's a stupid probably a dumb way to phrase it but I get overwhelmed by people really quickly and then I need to go home and I need to be like as long as it's just me and my boyfriend, I'm okay. But I need to be, like... I find myself... Um, the reason it's so hard... Okay, let me let me start this up. The reason it's so hard is because I have to put on a face the whole time. Most of the time. And that doesn't feel good. It's hard. And it takes a lot to, like, act like you're happy. Which sounds really bad. But sometimes that's how it is. And putting on a face just takes way more effort than it should. And then by the time the end of the day rolls around, I can't keep that up anymore. And I don't know. I feel like people won't like the real me if they deal with me. So the face is easier. But yeah, when people say, step out of your comfort zone. Like, trust me, when I do, I have to fake a smile the entire time. And it's not really fun. When it's your birthday and people give you gifts and you're surrounded by people and they go, open it, open it, open it. I literally want to get a machine gun and kill everyone in the room, including myself. So my parents used to do this to me. My husband does it to me. He's learning not to. So <laughs> that's cute. But when people make plans that include me and then don't tell me in a respectful amount of time, like they'll tell me, oh, we have this thing to go to at like 8 a.m. tomorrow morning they'll tell me at like 10 o'clock at night and I'll be like I'm sorry we we as in both of us we as in you told people that I was also going to be there without telling me this was a plan in the first place we as in people are expecting me to show up 
so I can't even back out of this? And you didn't give me enough time to emotionally prepare myself for this social situation? I oughta... Oh my god. You never want to go out. Yeah, I know. You're so quiet, Em. You're such a homebody. That's the point. Touching me as a Aries Taurus bull game. Do not touch me to talk to me. You ain't gotta touch me to talk to me, dude. Don't, 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 don't put your hands on me, okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. Because I'm asking you nicely not to touch me. I gave you a full flesh one of the first time not to put your hands on me to talk to me. Why you gotta put your hand on my shoulder and squeak? No. Only person who needs to be squeezing me is my wife, honey. Don't, 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 don't squeeze me. Don't touch me. Because if I gave you a warning that first time, that second time is not going to be nice. It's really not. It's really not. Ask me what I want to do. I tell you what I want to do. I want to exist in this moment, in this space. And not think about what I have to do or what I want to do. So this does not apply to work whatsoever, but if my family or my friends throw some sort of a party or an event, usually I'm okay for a little while, like a couple hours, but if it's longer than like two hours, I can't keep up the poker face anymore, and it's very hard for me to remain engaged, and basically my social battery just drains. So most of the time I will find a quiet place to go, whether it's another room, or I'll go outside, or on another level of the house, or even like just a quieter corner in the room where like I'm not in the middle of like a big group. And the one thing that will bother me is someone will follow me. Like for hours, that area could be unoccupied. And all of a sudden, because I go to sit over there, people will follow me and it just pisses me off. So this happens frequently. If I'm tired or obviously don't wanna talk, People say shit like, are you okay? You seem a little off. Yeah, I'm off, motherfucker, because basic communication makes me physically sick. Oh, I got this one. You know when you go to the mall or like the fair or any place where there's gonna be lots of people with your friends or your family or whoever's going with you, and you explain to them, because you've been there for a long time now, that your energy is dropped and you're getting anxious. And if you stay any longer, you're gonna become like, you know, a bitch, like an anxious bitch. And they're like, oh no, you'll be fine. We're gonna be here for like 10 more minutes or like one more store. And then like two hours go by or like six stores. And then they wanna know why you're acting like a bitch. What the fuck did you think was gonna happen? You thought I was just gonna be like, oh yeah, you're right. I'm gonna be totally fine. What do you mean? I got all the energy. I've just been hiding it. No, here I am sitting in the mall like a shaking, angry chihuahua. And you wanna know why? I fucking told you. Now you're gonna have to deal with the shaking and the barking. <laughs> I have two. One is if you invite me somewhere and after I confirm you invite other people and you don't tell me until either I'm already there or right before I get there, jail. Or if we're hanging out and then at some point during that hangout, you ask me to hang out again the next day, jail. <laughs> Use the fact that I'm like loud and confident on social media as a way to disprove the fact that i'm an introvert they're like you can't be an introvert look at this video i make videos alone in my room have you ever seen me outside yeah there's a reason for that also i'm loud and confident around people that i'm comfortable with so if i'm shy around you look within another thing that i don't feel like people discuss enough or maybe i just haven't heard it is introverts can act you know we can act we can put an act oscar winning even there's been countless times where I've pretended to be extroverted or like tried to seem confident even though inside I want to be hit by a truck at that minute. Undetectable. Undetectable. I had an ex who volunteered us for every event. Like she would go out with her homegirls or something like that and then be like, yeah, me and Ryan will be there at that birthday party and me and Ryan will be there at that event, wherever the case is. Then she'll come home and tell me, oh yeah, babe, by the way, uh, we gotta go to such and such a baby shower. 
Never ask me what my plans were. Never ask me what my thoughts were. Never ask me if I want to go. Just volunteer to us. Don't volunteer me for shit without asking me. The reason I say this is because I don't get along with everybody. I don't want to be bothered with everybody. And if you don't ask my opinion or ask if I want to go, I'm not fucking leaving. If I want to stay at home eat ice cream out of the container all day, those are my plans for today. A lot of introverts like myself are okay with enjoying our own company. We don't have to be around other people to have fun. This is how my sister opens my door. <sighs> Annoying, right? She just came in. This is how I ask her to open my door. Easy, right? A simple knock, I say come in, you come through the door. And this is what pisses me off. What's the point of the knock? What's the point of the knock if you're just gonna walk through, bro? Maybe this is just me, but I kind of despise the type of people who make you feel like if you're not speaking, you're not having a good time or like you have to be talking all of the time or interacting in with every single conversation in order to you know be a fun person or i don't know how to explain it sometimes i just have nothing to fucking say no one's t speaking to me i must speak when spoken to a person I, I don't know is that weird i i i i actually want to die when people make me feel like i need to be speaking every single minute that i am around them sometimes i have nothing to say and I just like to exist. Is that, I don't know. Is that weird? I, am I fuck? Okay, this one drives me up the wall. It's like when you're at work or you're in a class and they say, okay, everybody, let's go around the class, introduce yourself and tell me one special thing that you did this week or tell me one special thing uh, that you know about this and that. I'm just like, no, Susan. I don't give a shit about anybody. I don't even want to know their name, okay? I'm not going to see these people again. I don't want to hang out with these people. I don't want to know anything about these people.